Hello friends. In today's class, we'll see the fundamental of the language, which include different types of the string and simple patterns. Okay, so here uh, we are we are we are the discussing this topic string and the language. Okay, so the string and the language is the next topic and uh, alphabets huh? so uh, any language that starts uh, here with this uh, when you talk about any language so to define a language you require uh, alphabet so it's a finite set of symbols okay and in uh, automata theory we express this as use this sigma to represent uh, the alphabets then we defined a string over the alphabet which is nothing but a, a, a string over some alphabet a finite sequence of symbol drawn from the alphabet so now what i can do here i can uh, i can uh, finite sequence of symbols are drawn from the alphabet so now here i can say let's say double a double b is one of my string okay so i'm taking the this term uh, from the alphabet and i am taking a finite sequence so that is your uh, string over, over this uh, alphabet and then now length of the string so number of symbols uh, that this uh, this uh, your string contains so here if i say a a b b the same example and if i say this that means the length of the string and that is equal to 4 this is this is important that uh, empty string or the zero length string okay so now we have a symbol for this that is called epsilon and if you talk about length of the string epsilon is equal to 0 it's a zero length string Uh, these are the few terms uh, that is commonly used, the prefix part, the suffix part and the substring part. So what is the prefix associated with it? Okay, so the prefix, pa prefix part is uh, something that is the initial part. Okay, so here uh, the prefix part here is A and I can say A, B, I can say A, B, C, I can say A, B, C, D, I can say A, B, C, D, E, okay, up to here these are your proper prefix similarly suffix part is the the letter letter part so we can say f and then we can say ef and then i can say def finally i can say uh, c d e f and then i can say b c d e f these are the proper prefix substring is a is a is a, is a string that will occur somewhere in the string so i can say for a b c d e f i can say that b c is a substring b c d is also a substring b c d e is also a substring so you might be thinking i stuck with b c d even c d is a substring and c d e is also a substring uh, I can also say EF is also a substring. Okay, so anything that is a, a, a sequence of alphabets which are consecutive, okay, you start from anywhere, but the sequence uh, substring is a, I can define this term substring is a sequence of alphabet. Somewhere here I can say, uh, okay, put it here. Okay. Sequence of alphabet sequence of consecutive alphabet okay the next part here is is language and the empty string so here uh, this language part uh, the definition says that set of string was an alphabet okay so the the main term here in this case is the set of string so uh, to define this language thing, uh, let's take an example and this is your uh, sigma and I defined as A and B. So this is the set of string and uh, now uh, let me add uh, one more rule that set of string, uh, these are not random string, uh, we can have some formal string or following, uh, let's say some grammatical rule. Okay? So set of string following some grammatical rule.
Okay. So now if I just put a sigma here and if I say all string, all string begin with A. And then if I uh, ask you all the string that begins with A or alphabet A and B, then immediately you'll say A, then double A, A, B, A, 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 B, A, B, A, A, B, B, and so on. Okay, so now this is the set of string uh, following uh, some grammatical rule. And this we can call it as a language okay and uh, the definition is all string uh, with begins with a as the definition already I have written okay so now what is a language language is nothing but a set set uh, set of string and that's why uh, one of the very important topic uh, for understanding this uh, this automated theory is the set theory now this is a very common term that we use of the empty set empty set consists of no element okay so phi here as described that it consists of no element and uh, cardinality is also one of the uh, so cardinality is zero here uh, i just don't want you to mess up with these two things that is uh, phi and epsilon uh, phi is your empty set okay now this is your empty set and epsilon is a string okay it's an empty string so do they are both uh, different data type okay so one is a set another one is a string so that's all for this section thank you